Hi, my name is Tao and I'm a second year MFA student from Painting and Drawing. Mm -hmm. um, so this is my studio, kind of messy. Um, on this wall is kind of my um, brainstorm of my ideas. So I have like small sketches and drawings and um, pictures that kind of ins inspire my work. So um, these are work, or these are yeah. sketches for the the work that you're going to show in the MFA show, right? Um, right. So about the work that I am going to show in the MFA show, it's kind of work in progress. I'm not going to show a finished piece and I have been working on that piece since last year. Mm -hmm. And i really intrigued by the fact that I am a collector and I'm looking for visitors or obscure object with a history. Um, so when I start researching about the objects, I come up with vocabulary and words that are unfamiliar with me and kind of translating from Vietnamese to English. Mm -hmm. So that's my kind of uh, um, my range of how all the words related. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, in the piece, in the MFA show, I I'm going to show a file object, which is um, a kidney stone that I get from a Vietnamese man that I don't want to reveal his name, but he gave it to me and he carried the stone for more than 10 years. It was really painful, but when I see it, I feel it's a really beautiful object, which mm -hmm. is kind of a sculpture that is uh, made by the body intuitively without his his um he, he doesn't want to do it but it's just there mm -hmm. so when i move when i move the object from one country to another country i feel like it's like body part that is moving and it's like the idea of traveling traveling and immigration mm -hmm. of how difficult for um immigrants from one country to go to another country without clear identity and a lot of pain, a lot of suffering and it's just it just really simply represent in a really small object. Mm -hmm. um, and you said that this man has always wanted to come to the United States, right? Yes, because he doesn't have a really good life in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So I guess um, I can't fulfill his wish mm -hmm. by bringing a part of his body to this country. But I'm not really want to work just to be about immigration. So what I guess interesting for me is also museum displays and how museums collect objects from all over the world and make it into like a really dead display case. So I also contact the Museum of Surgical Science and mm -hmm. ask them to permission to use their collection in my work. Mm -hmm. So they agreed to um, let me get their object and use it in my work. So in my video, I'm going to show the video that I make in the museum. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, I was like making books that I want to give to the audience. So this is some of the book covers that I'm just like working on. So it's like this. Uh, this is the cover of the book. Great. And this is the title of the piece. Mm -hmm. It's a Renon calculus. It means kidney stone in Latin language. So at first people would not know what it means. Mm -hmm. This is kind of look like a passport. Yeah. So because I I have my passport here and that kind of relates the font and the display. Mm -hmm. But I think people will not know it immediately. Yeah. But they will take some time in order to be able to understand the words itself and what it represents. Mm -hmm. So I wanna give it free to other people because for me what's so interesting in art is you offer people something. So by picking up the book, I think people don't need to understand the story, but they have kind of a present. So I like that idea. So this is the kidney stone, right? That 
yeah. we talked about. And what are some of the other objects that you mentioned from the Museum of Surgical Sciences that you're going to show? Um, well, I found in the museum they have a really big collection of just um, stones that is produced by the body. Mm -hmm. Maybe not only kidney stones, but stone from the bones or from the bladder or from other parts of the body. And I found them kind of disgusting, but it's really beautiful in a way. Mm -hmm. But I was really disappointed and I didn't like the way the museum represent the object as scientific or medical artifacts. I feel like it's too narrow that way. So by asking their permission and rearranging their collection, I kind of want the object to be more like art object with with an with an identity, with an individuality. It's just not some random things that people display for educational purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're bringing the individuality and the body back into these yeah, objects. Yeah, kind of. Great. Mm -hmm. um, so I think what made me feel interested in making these works mm -hmm. is I feel what art is so interesting to me because it can be really intelligent and really intuitive. So it's like two opposite ends of a spectrum. I feel like one person, if he or she make really intelligent or intellectual work, it can be a little bit boring. But if you only have intuition, it can be naive. Mm -hmm. So I want the work to have both intellect and intuitive. That's what make me feel interested and make me keep making work. And that, yeah, so that's why I'm interested in making art that not changing thing, but just transform the way I think. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing your work in the MFA show. Mm -hmm. And thank you for having me in your studio. Okay, you're welcome.